And I think that Joseph Parker and Luis Ortiz should be speak kicked out of the rankings for the next couple of years. Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've not been already subscribed to Off The Canvas Boxing, like the video, do all that good stuff. Tomorrow, 8 p.m., we'll be going live to do a heavyweight tier list, okay? If you don't know what a tier list is, we categorize them or whether they are world level, whether they're elite, whether they are fringe world level, etc. Half decent journeymen. We're gonna we're gonna do that, okay? We're not going to do every single Tom Dick and Harry that happens to be a heavyweight with a boxing license. We're just going to do the main ones, okay? So if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe to Optimus Boxing and post notifications so you guys get notified when I go live, okay? AJ was on Sky Sports today with some really, really alarming comments. First and foremost, AJ's out there in Dubai. And I'm not liking the videos that he's doing on clinching on tactical work it's yeah for me you're just giving intelligence to alexander Usyk at this point okay you're basically just handing him the tactic sheet and telling him this is exactly how i'm gonna fight this is what i'm working on and just be prepared for these sort of things okay he's done it in the interview with kook and said you know what i'm just gonna try to take up his head so Usyk is, is now realizing oh he's going to try to take try to knock me out oh if he can't knock me out he's gonna try clinch me it's a bit like a Chisora tactic. On the interview, he's talking about the fact that he was listening to many people's opinions and a boxing public's opinion when they were saying that AJ is a stiff bodybuilder. He turned around and said, all right, cool, no problem. I'll show you my boxing skills, okay? And ended up getting literally blown the hell out of here in the ring, okay? For me, it, I don't know. And AJ was talking about this in regards to his mindset, okay? And I'm glad that he was talking and addressing it. AJ needs to work on his mindset, okay? He needs to find out the most effective tactic to beat that opponent. Not necessarily trying to prove people wrong. This ain't like, I don't know, I don't know, like this ain't X Factor or something where you just go in it maybe to prove to the people that, you know, back in the day that, that were doubting you wrong. This is big heavyweight boxing, okay? And if you try to do that, in terms of the heavyweight, you know, in, in the ring, you're gonna let, get knocked out that way, okay? So this is a very dangerous sport. So you've got to find out the most effective way to beat your opponent using your strengths, okay? And AJ's strengths, it's his combination punches, his um, power, his speed, etc. And none of that was displayed against Alexander Usyk. So AJ was talking about, uh, like I said before, his mindset and working on the mindset training he's got a mental coach as well that he's i think that he's included in the camp or that he's looking to include in the camp that's that's good for me that that's amazing stuff okay i think that will do age the, the world of, of wonders okay regarding the motivational speeches for me i think that probably most boxers should just get high like you know the like motivational speeches for a drug you've got to be a crackhead okay you've got to like You've just got to be high on motivation because when you get into that ring, if you don't have the mindset that you are going to knock the person out or you don't have the mindset that regardless of, of, of what happens, you know, after this, I'm going to win this fight, then it's the start of your demise. I really hope that AJ starts training camp as soon as possible because he's out there in Dubai. We find out more information on who the hell is training Anthony Joshua when he's fighting Usyk, where he's fighting Usyk. Uh, someone said the other day, I think it was, I don't know if it's Dan, Dan Raphael or or Mike Coppinger or, or Gareth A. Davis. Somebody said, one of those three turned around and said, yeah, the, the idea of step aside isn't out, completely out of the question. I want him to dead that conversation. I want him to just hire a new trainer, schedule, announce the fight, and let's get this show on the road, okay? Tyson Fury, oh my goodness. Tyson Fury, he's very contradictory. Done it. Done a video earlier today to, saying, I've been training 11 days consecutively and you know, I'm feeling good. I'm in the best shape of my life and you know, hopefully you have some new news soon. It's what, five days now out from the first split split between him and Dilly White. And now he's he's decided to call out Francis and Gandhi saying that I'll fight Francis with MMA clubs in a boxing ring. And who wants to see it? I'm like, yo, like, what the hell is going on? 
do like I know you want to fight and gun. I don't know whether he was trying to drum up business or drum up the excitement with regards to that and have people invested. So when he fights this person, when he fights that person, maybe after his boxing career, that that's the like a natural fight because they've been talking about it for years. But in this moment of time, with a week left to go until your purse bid spit, you could lose your next fight to Dillian and all of that malarkey is going out the window. Okay, nobody's out here. Or Francis isn't out here to be fair calling out Deontay Wilder right now because Deontay Wilder is a flavour of the month so it's very easy to to start calling people out in other sports when you're at the top but you've got to be very careful especially right now you have Dillian White it's one of the most powerful punches in the heavyweight boxing scene it's a very dangerous game to call out MMA fighters in this moment in time bruv the WBC needs to pattern up we'll, we'll report on it next week okay guys but I'm not I'm not hearing great things from Tyson Fury. Speaking about governing bodies, the IBF have tried to make Filip Perkovic do a final eliminator. Luis Ortiz decided to decline the offer to, you know, fight Filip Perkovic for the final eliminator. And then they went to Joseph Parker and said, you know what, Joseph, you're next in line, so do you want to fight for the final eliminator? Joseph said, no, we don't want to do that. And now Team Herkovich had now have to go down the list of fighters with regards to the IBF. It, that is absolutely nonsense. I think Philip Herkovich is one of the most avoided fighters at this moment in time. He is the real boogeyman, not Luis Ortiz. Philip Herkovich is the real boogeyman. Two things should happen at this moment in time. Number one, Philip should be put into a position of mandatory, mandatory challenger. No final eliminators because the top two have, have passed on the opportunity and I think that Joseph Parker and Luis Ortiz should be, should be kicked out of the rankings for the next couple of years that's in my opinion because if you want to if you want the sport to grow you want the best to come up against the best you've got to make it really difficult for people to duck another fighter okay the only time people should duck another fighter is if they don't want to box again not because this person doesn't bring in a lot of you know chiching dollar okay this isn't a, a, a collab that you do in terms of like a, a, a song, etc. Oh, do you, you want to be on the? Do you want to be in the remix? No, I don't want to be in the remix. All right, cool, no problem. Let's say no more. Do you, do, you, do you want to be in the remix? No, no. All right, cool, no problem. Oh, crept and cut, crept and cut. I know you guys, you guys always do remixes. No, not even you. Ah, oh, swear, who's gonna do the remix for us? Man, like th this is what it feels like at this moment in time. And for me. If you if you want to stop this, you've got to pull the plug and say, you know what? Anyone who declines a mandatory, anybody who is is in a title position and the mandatory is put in place and just like ah oh, no fine, this will vacate the belt, okay? You should just be kicked out of the rankings for three years, straight up. Okay? And then afterwards you'll cut you can come back and you can start off in fifteenth place in terms of the ranking and then you can work your way back up again. Okay? Not just facilitating all of this ducking like nothing's happening because right now I guarantee you in the next month it's still going to be number one Philip Herkovich it's going to be number two Luis Ortiz it's going to be number three um, Joseph Parker no real change is going to take place and we have we have to stop that in boxing we really do okay 8 p.m. live tomorrow Friday okay it's going to it's going to be a great live show okay we done a live show the other day on on Tuesday to discuss Dillian White and whether he should take the deal we done like a Dillian or deal type of scenario that was great okay guys um but stay tuned subscribe like the video peace love and prosperity I'm gonna see you guys in a bit peace